Hello. To study the electromagnetic engineering subject, prerequisites are vector algebra and the vector calculus. In the vector algebra, we must know the addition and the subtraction. In the vector calculus, we, we must know the gradient, divergence, curl, and the Laplacian operator. Second is that we must know the various coordinate system. In the various co uh, coordinate system, three are very important. So first is the Cartesian, second is the cylindrical, and third is the, is the spherical. In the Cartesian coordinate system, x, y, z are, are the variables, and the range of the x, y, z are minus infinity to plus infinity. In cylindrical coordinate system, r, theta, and the z. The r means radius. The, value, the range of the r is zero to infinity. The range of the theta is 0 to 2 pi and the range of the z is minus infinity to infinity. In the spherical coordinate system, there are three, uh, three variables r, theta and the phi. Range of r is 0 to infinity, theta 0 to pi and phi 0 to 2 pi. Uh, we also we must know the two port network. Now this is the dot product. So if we multiply two vectors, then we get the scalar quantity. And if we get the scalar quantity, that that product is called the dot product. The dot product of two vectors is mod of a mod of b into cos theta. Theta is the angle between the a and the b. Then second is the cross product. If we multiply two vectors and the, if the vector is if the product is vector, then it is called cross product. It is a vector quantity, so it both as the magnitude and the direction. Direction we can calculate by using the right hand curl and A to B, so direction is upward and from B to A, direction is downward. Now, the very important is coordinate system. There are three types of coordinate system, Cartesian coordinate system, cylindrical coordinate system and the spherical coordinate system. Now the question arises, why we study three types of coordinate system? Because uh, to simplify the numericals, suppose any equation is complicated in the Cartesian coordinate system, so it is. it may be possible that it may be simple in the cylindrical coordinate system or the spherical coordinate system. That's why we study different types of coordinate system and according to the application, we use the different types of the coordinate system. First is the Cartesian coordinate system. And in the Cartesian coordinate system, we know three variables x, y, and the z. Range of x is minus infinity to plus infinity. Range of y is min again minus infinity to plus infinity. And range of z is minus infinity to plus infinity. So there are three variables in the Cartesian coordinate system. If we keep one variable as a constant and we change two variables then the plane will be generated plane will be generated so if for example if we keep x is constant and we move y and z variable if we change y and z variable, then the plane will be generated if we keep the x constant then this plane will be generated we from the figure we observe that this plane is parallel to the yz plane this is the yz, so this plane is parallel to the yz plane and perpendicular to the x-axis. So if we keep x equal to constant, then the plane will be generated and that plane is parallel to the yz plane uh, and perpendicular to the x-axis. Suppose, for example, if x equal to 5, then x equal to 5, so at, at any point in this plane, the value of x is constant means 5. We only change the value of y and z. If x equal to 0, then this plane passes through the z axis. Now, if y equal to constant, so if the y equal to constant, then this plane will be generated. This plane, so at every point in this plane, the value of y is constant. And again, this plane is parallel to the xz plane and perpendicular to the y axis you must imagine the plane different plane x equal to constant y equal to constant and z equal to. this is very important for the studying the electromagnetic engineering so because if we apply the any law gauss law divergence law current law so the imagination of the plane is very important either in the cartesian coordinate system cylindrical coordinate system or the spherical coordinate system so you must imagine the different types of the plane in different coordinate system
and again z equal to constant. If the if the z equal to constant, then this plane z equal to constant. So this plane will be generated at every point in this plane. The value of z will be constant. Again, this plane is parallel to the x y plane and perpendicular to the z z axis. So there are three types of plane will be generated x equal to constant, y equal to constant, and z equal to constant. You must imagine the all three types of the plane and also the range of the variables. So if the x equal to constant plane, this plane x equal to constant, in this plane the value of x is constant and value of y z is minus infinity to plus infinity and for the z minus infinity to plus infinity. It will repeat for the all three planes. Now, the differential length, area, and the volume. So, differential length. So, if we imagine the cube, which length is dx, width is dy, and height is dz. So, we can differential displacement dx. This is the dx. This is the dx, dx, ax plus dy, ay plus dz, dz. So this is the differential displacement in the Cartesian coordinate system. So in this, we observe there are three planes. This is the first plane, this is the second, and this is the third. So for this plane, this plane, the one edge is dy, and second is the one is dz, and second is dy. So this plane is parallel to the yz plane and perpendicular to the x-axis means x equal to constant. So in this plane at every point the value of x is constant. So for the, the area of this plane is length into width. What is the length? dy and what is the width? dz. So dy into dz and direction of the plane is along the positive x-axis. So ax. So, so this is the area of the x equal to constant plane. Again, for y equal to constant plane, this is the y equal to constant plane. This plane is parallel to the xz plane and perpendicular to the y axis. The length of this plane is dx and width is dz. So area must be dx into dz and the direction of the plane is along the positive y-axis, along the positive y-axis. Again, third plane is, this plane is z equal to constant. In this plane, uh, this plane parallel to the xy plane and perpendicular to the z-axis. In this plane, at every point, value of z is constant. In this case, length is dy and width is dx. So, area length into width, dx into dy. And direction is along the positive z-axis, so along the positive z-axis. So you must know the differential displacement, differential area and differential volume. To calculate the volume, it is very easy. Length into width into height, dx, dy and dz. So volume is the scalar quantity and the area and the differential displacement is the vector quantity. So to mention the differential displacement and the area, we must mention the direction. So you must understood the differential displacement, differential area and differential volume in the Cartesian coordinate system. This is very important to calculate the electric field by using the Gauss law. Or uh, it is very important in the Ampere's law. Now second coordinate system is the cylindrical coordinate system. In the cylindrical coordinate system there are three variables rho, phi and z. Value of rho is 0 to infinity, value of phi is 0 to 2 pi, and value of z is minus infinity to infinity. Now, if we get rho equal to constant, if we keep rho equal to constant, then the cylinder will be generated. This cylinder will be generated. If we keep rho equal to constant, then the radius remains constant, and if we change the phi, from 0 to 2 pi and we change the z minus infinity to infinity then the hollow cylinder hollow circular cylinder this hollow circular cylinder will be generated this hollow circular cylinder will be generated 
for the rho equal to constant and direction of this area is outward the plate outward the cylinder again if we keep phi equal to constant if we keep phi equal to constant and we vary rho radius and the z then the semi infinite plane will be generated semi infinite plane will be 